carry mm -hmm. are uh, fantastic. They they take care of, of vets and and uh, and that's a good thing. Yeah, sure. So. We got a couple more calls. Let's take them. Okay. Uh, good morning, caller. Thank you for waiting. Oh, good morning, Reed. Good morning, oh, Troy. Oh, I know morning. who this is. This is Linda Spaulding. Linda Spaulding. I know Troy. And yeah. she, she's married to a guy who's, uh, I think he's older than most of the vets from World War II, but <laughs> he, he almost gets into Chautauqua free now. If you're 90, you get in free in Chautauqua. You know that? No, <laughs> didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. He's got a while to go before he's 90. Yeah, well, you know, a year's a long time to yeah. a man that age, though, you know? <laughs> this, this is one of Reed's standard jokes. I know it, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 he makes her say that, you oh, know? Oh, <laughs> He sits right by and tell him I'm a young man. <laughs> okay, Linda, what's up? Well, what's I wanted comment? to say how, how good it is to see you on, uh -huh. the, on the show, Troy. Thanks, Linda. And, um... We just had Veterans Day. I always say to anybody that comes to me looking for work that's a veteran, I thank them for their years of service and and for protecting us. You give them and a job. Yes, it's jobs. It's that's she was she, she our runs, veterans and thank you. She runs. Yes, yeah. I know Linda. Done. Oh, you know Linda. Oh, I know she, Linda. Yeah, yes. she's, she's got jobs galore over there. Yep, she's got our senior aid program. Mm -hmm. So she uh, she takes care of her. Uh, matter of fact, I think that uh, we just put a driver to work down there. Yes. Uh, yep. How old was he? Uh, he was really younger old. than 90. B b b younger than Doug? <laughs> oh, right. my God. <laughs> Spring chicken? <laughs> you know, I don't keep track of anybody's age. I just uh, have to find oh, out. Oh, Linda, I understand. I understand. I forget the age bit. I understand. Yeah, she's so much younger, you know. She's, <laughs> she used to be a model. Did you know that? She no. still is, really. She's gorgeous. And he's a grumpy old man, ugly as sin. You, you know, Reed, <laughs> I know Troy. Troy knows uh -huh. me. You don't have to be... Um, Okay, now let me let me, me let me <laughs> ask you something. Well, he knows how beautiful you are, and I, I don't get about that. Um, is that grumpy old guy there? Uh, there is a young gentleman here who's very pleasant. <laughs> I wanted to say a word to him briefly. All right, I'll put him uh, so on. Wake him up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to give the telephone number at the office for the aging. Oh yes, for please do. Senior services seven five three four four seven one. Okay. And, and here is that young, handsome, irresistible man, <laughs> Doug Spaulding. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. Have a great week. See you, Linda. Hello, Mr. Spaulding. Hey, this is the old grouch. Okay, now I wanted to tell you I didn't realize you were Amish. I mean, you didn't realize what? You were Amish. Oh, uh, right. I, uh, well, I, uh, I, I've, he, uh, a, I've been uh, sort of an honorary uh, member. Well, I'll tell you something. <laughs> they enlisted me. <laughs> you, you got the accent and everything, and the the, the attitude and everything knocked. I, mean, you're I was honored to do that. But Linda said I thought I had an Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Germanic, I think, or something like that. Well, uh, yeah. See, Doug. Um, first of all, Roy and Karen Harvey, great film artists put together a wonderful film about the hospital. Mm -hmm. And the Amish had written a letter expressing their situation. Now, they will not go on camera, and they, mm -hmm. they will not, not even talk, but because uh, they, they like to keep out of issues. Mm -hmm. But they certainly do have major concerns, and so they wrote a letter uh, asking that they be uh, consider their needs. And uh, the letter was written out loud by a guy who had a perfect, it sounded just like the Amish do when you talk to them up in the hills. And that guy was Doug Spaulding. Oh. He did a fabulous <laughs> job of it. He was a narrator. Yeah. Flattery will get you anything you want, Reed. Well, My son, you know, is chief liaison officer between the uh, military and the private sector at the uh, hospital in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, really? He's been in the hospital business. Uh, he was in, in the military, and now he's uh, he's the uh, bridge between the two the veterans and the uh, and the uh, public sector of the uh, our hospital uh, uh, setup. Okay, what well, whatever you call that. All right. Well, so he's got his he's got his finger in that. Yeah, he's, uh, you, your family's in on it. Well, it's nice of you to talk to a, a very old man, Reed. I well, really appreciate look, it. Well, I, I know it's a it's a bright part of your day, uh, to, and so I'll. I see better you. get back into my rocker. <laughs> <laughs> well, get on that little uh, scooter you use. I think that's fantastic. He runs around. Oh yeah, I, with a little scooter. I, have, I scoot he around every once in a while. He, I try not to He blows to be his too. horn at people. <laughs> he has a great day. He waves his cane. I stay He's off the public. Oh, I stay off the public highways. You know. <laughs> <laughs> good news. Well, thanks good again, Doug Spaulding. Nice to see you there, Troy. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Thank you, Doug. Okay. Thanks good morning, military fellows. Bye Thank bye. you. Good morning, caller. You're on. Hello there. Oh, Mort. Okay, I think I got you now. Okay, good. Now I can hear you. Um, my, my question is, 
Um, I retired from the Navy. Uh -huh. And it seems like our retired medical benefits are continually being eroded and, and taken away from us. What does the VA have to offer retirees other than if, if it's just the same as, as regular vets or if it's, um, you know, if there's something more that, that I can get help yeah, with? Yeah, that's, that's a good thought. question. Do retirees get more than a medal or what do they get? Well, being that I'm a retiree myself, uh -huh. um, let me just explain that uh, as a retiree, we, uh, we're qualified for TRICARE, as you well know. Right. And yeah, uh, tri what's TRICARE for our listeners? TRICARE is a, uh, it, it's, it, basically it's an insurance program uh, that the, uh, allows us to, to go to uh, uh, civilian hospitals, doctors, and um, uh, TRICARE, you know, there's, there's copay involved. We, we have to pay a copay. We have yeah. to, uh, uh, you know, pay a cost share. Um, you, you, this is in a veterans hospital, right? No, this Any is hospital. this is this is civilian hospital. Okay. The this now the the one thing that I, I guess I want to emphasize is Tricare is completely separate from VA. Um, okay. Military retirees. The only way that we're able to get into utilizing the VA is, is through the same process everybody else is. Um, the VA hospitals um, will take you uh, if you're a veteran and if you're not service connected. Um, you don't fall into a certain category, then it, it's all income based. If you make too much money, you're out. You're out, and it, th this is an atrocity too that I consider yeah. wrong. I mean, when we signed up as veterans, it wasn't like they went down the line and said, "Okay, yeah, you're you know, rich and you're poor," right? And if, so if, if, which if you, is all bunkum anyway, right? And it, prior to prior to 2003, they didn't have income limits. 2003 came along, they they put income limits in. Um, the biggest thing is if if you're service connected or you fall below a certain. Uh, I hate to interrupt. I just got the word. We're off the air. Off the Caller, air. Caller, a quick response. Well, is there any good deals for them for, for money? For retirees. Well, as far as uh, money goes, just come down and see us at the uh, at the Veterans yeah, Service he'll Agency. Yeah, give you more details. We'll take care of you. There. Thirty seconds to finish up. You're on. Okay. Now, let me go back to what I was talking about. So, if you want to commit, and we we can take a look at you know where you're at financially on your threshold, uh, or if you're service connected, we can try to get you into the VA. Uh, if you don't fall within that, um, we can't get you VA care. Okay, thanks a lot. Give him a phone number. 661-8255. If you want to get in touch with Troy Smith, 661-8255. 8255. Thank you, Troy, for giving up your Saturday morning. And I oh, appreciate thanks, it. Reed. And, uh, will you come back soon? Absolutely. There's going to be plenty of veterans sure. at this rate. Absolutely. Okay. I want to thank special, wonderful people out there. I'm sorry, caller, the last caller we didn't get you, but he'll be back. Um, I want to thank Chuck. Kelsey, Devin Taylor, Chris Burt, Chris Ramaker, Mort Flexer, Randy Burt, Roy Harvey, Jeff Zook, and Don Zenz. All the guys who make it work here, may all that is proud and true and noble abide with you. I'm Reed Powers.